a fine chuku. Mom. Son, you need to understand that you were made in the mold of kings. And how many times do you need to tell me this? You keep repeating this over and over again. Yes. I keep repeating it because you seem to forget that you'll be the one to emerge as king. That is not possible. I mean, how can I emerge as king when I have an elder brother? That's one? You still regard that one as your elder brother? Yes. He is my elder brother. Irrespective of the fact that I do not like him, he is still my elder brother and he will emerge as king after father joins his ancestors. If I need you, that is one thing I don't like about you. You do not apply wisdom when it is required. <laughs> Listen, forget the fact that he's your elder brother or whatever. The staff of the king will be given to who it fits, not necessarily to the first son. And what do you mean by that? Let's just say that I know the succession procedure very well. And I know that you, if I need you, my son, will be the one to be in that office of the king, not Chukunonso. I am late for a meeting. I'll see you when I get back. I'll see you. I'll see you, Mom. Here, son, I have it here. I know how to push men to the top. My son will get there. My son will get to that top. I'll see to that. <laughs> it was very funny, honestly. <laughs> you see, this new generation is turning to something else. That is it, bro. I'm telling you. Crazy things arise as days go by. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, uh, let her in. Okay, thanks. Uh, it's a lady I'm expecting from Mavis Oil. Yeah, come right in. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Can you have a seat? Thank you, sir. Sit, uh, I guess those are the documents. Uh... Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, my boss said you will understand everything as you go through the files. Mm, yeah, absolutely. All right, sir. I have to be on my way now. Okay. Good day. Thank you. Prince Chokononso, the shy boy. What was that supposed to mean? You couldn't even look at that lady in the face. I mean, when will you stop being shy? Are you sure you are ready to become king after your father? To the point of correction, I'm not a shy guy, okay? Then as part taking over from my father, I am so ready. We know both leaders when they talk. Maybe later you develop into one. As of now, you are not one. Just accept. Tony, your opinion. Mm -hmm. And you're entitled to it. When I ascend the throne after my father, come and kick me out. <laughs> you know, I'll one of my bodyguards. <laughs> I can do it, mom. Believe me. I am no longer that baby you used to know. 
I will always regard you as my baby until you get married and have your own children. Mom? Yes. Yes? You are back. So this meeting now is for what? The king is not here. What are you doing here? Of course, gossip as usual. Compassion. Compassion. Close your mouth. Did that just happen? Not that. We were talking about you becoming a woman before we were rudely interrupted. So can we continue with that discussion, please? Oh, mother, I can't believe this. Who is... Who is Chidera to exhibit such demeaning attitude before us? Leave her. Your Majesty, I... I called you for us to discuss because I have noticed something quite unusual. And it is not something I will come to discuss in the palace. And that is why I asked you to come over to my place and I'm happy you obliged me. Okay. I... Your Majesty, I noticed you no longer go to your companies like you used to. And I said, brother, I am genuinely bothered. I don't know, is there something you want me to know? Odoka, do you think that is still necessary when I have two sons that are fully grown managing my companies? Oh, I, I think I understand. You see, another reason for me to call you a lucky man. Oh, thank you. Uh, because so many men who are in your class, men that went out of their ways and married two women like you are not as lucky as you are. You will agree with me. I don't understand, Odoka. Must you always capitalize on every slight opportunity to register your displeasure with the fact that I'm married to two wives? Udoka, you are my brother. You know how this thing happened. But I must tell you the truth. I am not regretting it at all. Of course, I know you are not regretting. Because you have been managing your home perfectly well. Okay. And uh, that is because of your managerial abilities. Uh, something you acquired after spending a lot of time overseas studying management. Thank God you know. Yeah. And, but uh, more reason I want you to always peep into your companies instead of leaving everything in the hands of your sons. You will agree with me they are young men and they have the capacity to make some mistakes in their course of management. Mistakes that are that could cripple the business. Don't you understand what I'm saying? You have a point there, Odoka. And I must thank you for your concern. You're welcome. But the truth is I still go to my companies. It's not as if I no longer go there. I still do. Really? Yes. I am still the CEO of my two companies. Mm -hmm. Just that I no longer bother myself with that as I used to back in the days. Mm -hmm. Well, I understand that. And uh, that is because um, <laughs> you are actually reaping the fruits of your labor. You can say that again. <laughs> you can say that again. Nice. Uh, that notwithstanding, I have a little problem. What problem, my brother? The problem I have right now is Chukunonso and Ifai are not always in good terms. And it gives me cause for concern. I understand, my brother, but um, their disagreement is not completely unexpected. Yes. You know, because as children born by two different women, there is always the tendency that they will disagree. But then again, you will agree with me that finally when they realize or when they remember that they actually came from the same man, they will agree again. So that is a kind of um, disagreeing to agree. So I don't think that is there's a problem. It's not something that, that should be bothering you, my brother. I think I, I, they, they will come around. I think you have a problem. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, brother. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>
don't know why you're asking me for the impossible. I am here to do anything for you, here and now. I am ready. I cannot see myself sleeping with your guest. And what is wrong with that, Jovita? Are you now turning down the request of the Prince of Uzuna? No, my Prince. I am not turning down your request. It's just that I have never done anything like that before. Jovita, there is always a first time to everything in life. Even the people into it started one day. If you start today, it's not a big deal. Oscar is a very good friend of mine. Whenever I'm in Benin, he gives me good treats. So now that he is in my kingdom, it is only nice that I reciprocate. So I thought it wise to give him a beautiful, delicious, and sexed and creamy girl like you. So that when he gets back to Benin, he would have something to remember. My prince, I am sorry. Please, you don't need to be angry with me. Please. I cannot do it. Sorry. One million naira. That's for what? Jovita. Well, that's how I roll. I am the manager of this great and lucrative company. I bless those that bless me. Go to Oscar. Make him go crazy. And if he comes back to tell me that you murdered him, I will make you a millionaire richer. <laughs> My prince, this is so enticing. Can I have the money now before I go see him? I am a man of my words, Jovita. When I say I'll do something, I will do it. Now here is my car key. Go to the trunk of my car. You would find money there, take one million naira. And if Oscar comes back and confesses <gasps> that you murdered him, oh my God. I'll give you more. Oh my goodness. Eh? Uh -huh. And so what? Eh? Huh? And so what? Is that all you have to say? I couldn't. I asked a question. I didn't make a statement. I ask you again. Is it by force to greet? Or is there any law that says my daughter must greet you first? Mommy, ask her. Is it by force to greet? Must I greet you? It's alright. It's alright, what? Eh? Come back now. Come here. Stupid woman. It's alright. Look at her. So, mommy, she just came to report you. Can you imagine? Is it my first of this? I don't know. Anyway, don't bother. I know how to handle this one. <laughs> no, me no try him again. I know this normal before. Me no try him again. Nonsense. How was your day, son? And how was business? Oh, very well. I had a very good day. Uh, it, is, it keeps getting better. So good to hear. And I equally know that I can always count on you. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm so proud of you. Um, but what about this document from Mavis Oil? Oh yes, I received it today uh, through a lady that was sent by the CEO. I'm already working on it. It's in my office. I hope to run it off by tomorrow. Oh, so nice to hear. Thank you. Guys. Honestly, I am proud of you. <laughs> Your Majesty. Good evening. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, bro. How are you doing? I'm good. <sighs> Fine, I'll see you later. Ah, if I are you leaving already? Without even getting seated for us to talk about how business went at the office today? Father, we all live in this wonderful edifice of yours. So which means we can always have a drink and then we chat about whatever it is you want us to chat about later. But now, it's time to go to my room. I just got back from work and one of the guards said you guys were here. And I thought about it as a gentleman. Let me come say hi. So, back to my room. And then same tones up to you. I'll see you later, Dad. 
just like that. Chukunonso, you have to make all time to talk to your brother. I know it took this radical nature from me, but I had respect for people. That is why I could become king. You have to talk to him. I will try. Can you imagine? She died off yesterday. Who does she think she is? My daughter, you don't have to blame her. The one to be blamed is the mother. You needed to have seen the way she was defending her. She did not feel too big. Simply because she passed out from NYSC. Having served in that mosquito infested state. Eh? Come on. It was not the same NYS that I passed out from some years ago. Cynthia here will soon go for hers. Oh. Uh -huh. So I wonder why she's feeling as if she won some sort of trophy. Is it, there's something I don't really understand about these people. I mean, we're supposed to be some kind of family, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, why are they acting like there's something we're dragging, like we're some kind of enemies? Chukunonso. Obviously, those people are jealous of us. Especially you. Why? Yes. They wish Ifani Chuku should be the one named king after your father. Oh, this is funny. This is hmm. crazy. They wish. But it is funny. I mean, it's crazy. I am the first son of our father. Hmm? And that automatically makes me the heir to the throne. Exactly. So why are they wishing it for them? That is it, my son. But don't worry. They will wish for that for the rest of their lives. Well, I wish them luck. Please. <laughs> I made fresh fruit juice. Who wants some? Naturally, I want some. And naturally, you should be thinking of getting a wife that will sit here with you, preparing you anything you want. And naturally, in the absence of a wife, at least you people should allow me to naturally enjoy the best from my natural sister. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'm coming. <laughs> Cynthia. That was a very indecent way of asking my son to get a wife. Mom, well, he should. At least someone is defending me. Thank you very much, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I have told your brother that he is the one to take after your father. Or he wouldn't agree with me. Brother, what Mama just said is right. You are a king, Matilda. In fact, as I did, I don't even see the crown ready for your head. You are not a weakling. What do you both want me to do? Look, I am close to the king, my father. I know all about this politics. Really? And by that, you are claiming to know more than I do, right? Okay, mom. What do you want? I need you to start making plans on how to become a king. But sometimes I just don't understand you. The king is still very much alive and you are talking about another king. How can another king emerge when father is still alive? Why don't you wait for the old man to die first? Before you start asking me my plans. What kind of nonsense is this? Have you confirmed what I've been telling you about your brother? He needs to open his eyes. He needs to open them so wide. Let me know what you said. Together, we will open his eyes. Don't no worry. That's my daughter talking. Nobody else said, don't worry. Now listen, listen, listen to me. Before this conversation continues, I, I want you to accept the fact that you're a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
thank you. Now that you have accepted that you're a bitch, I will inform you that I do not have a problem buying a car for a bitch. But a bitch has got to work for it. Call me when you're ready, bitch. Who is it? Who is it? Guy is so cute. Hmm. Ah, is he cuter than my guy? <laughs> Your guy. Now? Why are you laughing? Yeah, why won't I laugh? You know why I'm laughing. Why? I'm laughing because I know you two. Uh, you don't have one particular guy. I don't even know what particular guy you have. So why won't I laugh? What's funny now? What's not funny? Of course, you know what I'm talking about. Grape, you know get one. You know get two. You know get three. Neither do you have four. So what else are you talking about? Listen, you feel shut up. I better make a like, shot. Though. Can you just shut up? Oh. You fit. Just just shut Maybe up already. You get no time to talk now. I had it all. <laughs> so the so-called precious princess of Lolongozika has numerous boyfriends. I beg you to concern you. Are you telling Richie? What call this girl come here now? What's happened? Babe, it's not even about it being a business. My question is, how did you manage to get here? How? One does never cease. Just Look who is talking. A bitchy friend and a bitchy princess. <laughs> princess Choma or whatsoever they call you, they not listen, listen to me. Don't you ever insult me? Did you hear that? It's okay. It's okay. Ha! Huh? Um, Choma, you feel cost me, I know talk. But you say my friend, no try. What will happen? If I do what will happen, I'm gonna beat you now. You will do what? I'm gonna beat you. Yes. I do what? I'm gonna slap you. I, me, I'm not gonna just beat you. You see this my clothes? I'm gonna tear and bust on you like my dog. You see what I'm talking about? A mad woman and a mad dog. Choma. Yes. You are stupid. It's your mother that is stupid. Choma. You the mad. <laughs> Let's not forget. You are the mad woman. Who is the I mad woman? You are the mad woman here. Hey, keep quiet. I will hear your voice again. I will hear your voice again. I will call the guts to minimize you. 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 Okay. I have seen it, I've uh, seen the document and uh, we've gone through it. I think I need to talk to my father before we can proceed. Is that okay by you? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay, fine. Good. Alright then, let me be on my way. Good day. Alright. Prince Chukunoso. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. Why are you so shy? Shy? Am I, am I shy? <laughs> of course you are. Especially when you're speaking to ladies. I've observed it severally. <laughs> I mean, even right now you're fidgeting as you're talking to me. Come on, look at me in the face, eyeball to eyeball, and talk. 
<sighs> well, I may not really be in the right position to tell you this, but you should learn not to be shy. You are a man, and more so the future king of your land. And one of the features you have to possess as a king is boldness. And also have it at the back of your mind that when the chips are down, it's only your confidence that is going to speak for you. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day, Prince. Why am I always shy? Why can't I look at women in their faces when I'm talking to them? Is this normal? I don't think so. Could I also be the reason if I find some other things I can't be king? Of course not. Who cares how she feels or what she thinks? No matter what she thinks, I must be king. I just need to work on this shy thing because people are already beginning to observe it. That's all. I'm good to go. Okay. A woman comes in and I'm like, look her straight in the face. How are you, get young? Jerry, Jerry. Oh, come on, Prince. If I, why are you doing this to yourself? Why? Stop this. I don't understand. My Prince, you shouldn't be smoking in your office. You can always do this when you're done with work. Please. I am glad you remember that it is my office, which gives me the right to do whatever that pleases Come me. Come on, my prince. You are the manager of this great company, and equally a prince, a well-respected prince at that. What if you have a sudden client or something? He or she would not take you as a responsible person. That is my point. Suit yourself, Jerry. I don't give a damn. Why do I have this feeling that you think I am an irresponsible prince? My prince, you are not irresponsible. You see, smoking doesn't make one an irresponsible person. I know of a senator who smokes. And you know I smoke too, but not everywhere. Now you see why I enjoy Chalky's company. You see why you call me, I don't pick your calls. You see why I've been avoiding you? If Chalky were to be here, he would have had a track. Peacefully, amicably, and then we're having fun. But look at you. You are preaching to me, telling me all sorts of nonsense. This guy, this guy, this guy. I have all kinds of dreams. When you're done preaching, tell me what you want and I'll order my secretary to bring it for you. You know? That useless friend of hers had the guts to talk back at me. Can you imagine more? Beds of a feather flock together. Have you forgotten? You shouldn't be surprised at that. Hey, Mom, Chidera is so lucky. She's so lucky today. I would have beaten the hell out of them. It's okay, my daughter. It's all right. Just let them be. You can see they're planning to provoke a fight in the parties. But we shouldn't play into their hands. We shouldn't. Ngozi and her children are looking for our trouble in this palace. But no problem. Let's see how it is going to end. To be candid with you, Ngozi I don't like that. You better talk to your daughter. Let her behave herself. I've heard you, Your Majesty. I I'll talk to her. But come to think of it, is it only my daughter that has to be spoken to? What about Akune? Did you tell her to talk to her daughter as well? Wow, well, 
That's even not the reason I'm here. And what do you mean by that? Your Majesty, I have come to remind you that if I need to put my son, will be the one to succeed. Hold it there. Hold it there, Ngotoka. What is wrong with you? Are you okay at all? Do I look sick? Eh? Now, how many times have I warned you not to speak that into my ears? How many times? Well, Your Majesty, you have asked me a couple of times to stop. But I keep saying it because I want you to see reason with me. <laughs> If I need to put my son, is the one who is fit to rule this kingdom after you. Of course, you know your sons. You know who took after you, don't you, my king? Honestly, I don't seem to understand you most times. And that is why I will normally ask you if you are okay. Well, if you want me to remind you, Chukunonso is my first son. And he is the one that will take over from me when I must have joined my ancestors and not your son, if I am Chuku. Your Majesty, Chuku no Sopa. Yes? Is that one a son or a, a daughter? That's weakly. It is your son that is a weakling. Ngozeka, you are stupid to sit here with my husband blabbing this nonsense. In my name, Marie Fe, you are you're so one. stupid. You are the one who is stupid, Akune. There is only one stupid woman in this palace, breeding immorality in males and females. <laughs> and that woman is you. Look at this kettle calling pot black. Look at this breeder of immorality, mother of us, mother of our house. Look at you, you are the prostitute. You, you are a fool. You are a you. useless woman. Oh, oh you enough of this nonsense. Enough. I am disappointed in both of you. Listen to the obscenities coming out from your mouth. If both of you are not mature enough to fashion a way to bring peace into this palace, then you can as well set everywhere on fire. See what you have cost. Shut up. Woman. See what you, you cost. Just shut up. You cost it. If you did not bring your cost body into a meeting I was holding with my husband, this would Point of happened. correction, my husband. <laughs> yes, my husband. Point of correction, I could name. My husband. You are the thief here. Oh, just shut up. You if you were good enough, he you wouldn't have married me. Because you are If you were good you enough. You are the all I came from. Oh, me. shut up. Let me tell you. If not for the money they are paying me in this palace, I would have left since. Where do you want to go? Learn to manage yourself in this mad house unless you are ready to throw yourself back into the labor market. But seriously, the second law law and our Imana children are the cause of the problem we have in this palace. I don't know why the king has not called into order. Let me advise you. Sit on the fence in this palace. Make a mistake of taking sides. You could be hit by a stray bullet. You saw Ifa Ichuku the other day, brought out a gun. You never can tell who else has a gun in this compound. You are right. Yes. Yes, go. But for how long are we going to keep tolerating this woman in this kingdom? For how long? She keeps getting on your way and you allow her. Chuku Nanso. Always remember she's a woman of his honor. She's from this community and married to a king. So what? Because she's married to a king, then we allow her to keep doing what she's doing? I am sure she's up to something. Possibly trying to provoke both of us so that we can play into our hands. That is why you have to be very careful. Did I hear you correctly? Chokunansu, where are you going? They're walking. Tell your mother to stop putting on you as the future king of this kingdom. I am the first son of her father, and that rightfully makes me the heir apparent to the throne. Have you suddenly gone deaf and dumb? Can't you hear me? Mm -mm. 
I was talking to all those negative spirits that have been causing this your stupid and recalcitrant attitude. It was my voice you heard. Are you mad? Not a hallucination from that nonsense you are taking. Are you mad? Now quit acting like you didn't hear me before or you don't know what I'm talking I about. I said, are you mad? Are you stupid? You think because you're tall you're noticed in this palace? I know what you're planning with your mother. I know what. It will not work. Five seconds, you're out of my sight. Else you would not like what I'll do to you. Five. Four. Please come, let's go. Three. Leave okay. me. Just leave him. Let's Two. go. No, wait for me! Wait for me! You think because you're tall, we, you, you're, rec you're recognized in this palace? Stupid fool! Fool! How many boyfriends do you have? I understand that both of you are not privileged to have gone to good schools. But at least your poor parents sent you to primary schools where you can at least understand the basic of English language. I am sure both of you passed English language at ordinary levels, which is the reason you were employed here in the first place. That means you understood my question. But I'll ask you one more time. How many boyfriends do you have? My prince, I don't have any boyfriend. That is the truth, my prince. Maidens of Uzonu that serve the king should not be involved in such acts, my prince. <laughs> so, both of you, you're saying that if I take you to my room and check it down there, it will still be as sealed as you were delivered by your mothers? My prince, are you really going to do that? They just confirmed to me that they are virgins. <laughs> I hope you were not lost in over those girls. I mean the maidens that served you food. <laughs> Kill that lost. Because if you take advantage of them, you will lose your chance of ever being the king. Why? Why? Are they cost or what? Are they not humans? I have not come here to be asked stupid questions. Get hold of yourself before you ruin everything. Drop that trash and eat your food.
how I hate the life of a prince. There would always be useless rules to restrict him. But not me. Not me. I just want to warn him to desist from whatever plan or intention he has with the mother. And he came after me with a bottle. That, that boy is mad. He's sick. Dad? Yes, son. Are you not saying anything? Honestly, I am short of words. You are short of words? That your son is out there inhaling one of the banned substances? And misbehaving in the palace to the point that he came after me with a bottle? And I'm telling you, you're just relaxing here telling me you're short of words? Chokulonso, what exactly do you want me to do that I have not done already? You should know the kind of brother that you have. Please, learn to tolerate him. I don't want any of you to be injured. Please. I still don't understand why I wasn't angry when all this happened. Can you imagine? Chin on soap! Madame Chukun on soap! Of all people! You walked right up to me, look at me in the face, and won me. Me! Is that why you were asking those palace ladies those stupid questions? Mom, please, please! Can we not just talk about those maidens? Let us face the issue at hand! What other issue is more important than what I have been telling you? I have told you a lot, but you wouldn't listen. I'm so happy it happened. At least your eyes will be open a bit. If I, if you get sense, hmm, you will listen to mom. I am equally happy it happened the way it happened. Guy, you need to carry yourself. Package yourself. Up your game else, you will lose the throne. Oh, mom, please, please. How else do you want me to up my game? How else? You know I am ready, mom. You know me. You know I am always ready. But each time I try to waste my opposition, you stop me. You keep stopping and tell me, how else do you want me to up my game? If I let you, you don't need to shout. The throne is yours. The earlier you realize that, the better for you. It is not about wasting anybody. It is about your courage and presentation. Give it a try. I told you won't say anything. You should know your father better by now. That quietness can be so annoying sometimes. Sometimes I wonder what kind of a king he is. Don't say that about your father. Besides, what do you expect him to do in this case? Qualify the Chukwu and start beating him or what? But he should have at least warned him never to try that nonsense again. Exactly. I don't really care about what that does say or not. All I know is that I'm going to be king after him, not that loud. Those people are just looking for unnecessary trouble. Eh, uh, see, I don't care and I don't want to know. I don't know about you guys, so for me, me, Choma, I'm ready for their trouble. I am not used to trouble, but Ngozeka is pushing me to the wall. I am going to grind her to a halt. There is no peace in my palace. My wives and their children are at loggerheads. The bone of contention being the throne. I don't know if they want me dead so that either of their sons can take over the throne. The heat is too much. But in all, I blame my second wife, Ngozika. She knows that Shukunonso is my first son. Why does she want her son to take over the throne? Your, your Majesty, 
Do you want me to get involved? I believe that this is a family issue. Mm -hmm. And that is why I have invited both of you here. You are my brother. Mm -hmm. And you are the prime minister of this kingdom. I want to know, please tell me, what else do I do? How else do I explain to Ngozika to know that rightfully the throne belongs to my first son? Your Majesty, I am surprised to see the dimension this issue has taken. I am aware that your wives have not been getting on well with one another. But I never knew it has gotten to this point. Why would Ngozika do such a thing? Why would she? I mean, who does not know that the throne belongs to the first son? Why does she want it for a son? Your Majesty, I am sorry for what is happening in your family. And I must say that I am glad I'm invited. Thank you, No, You're welcome. There are some things you must know. But unfortunately, you don't, due to the fact that you are more Western than traditional. I don't understand, no. What exactly are you talking about? Do not worry, Your Majesty. I will personally send a message across to you. A message? Oh no, I, I don't understand. What kind of message is that? Whatever it is you want to tell me, why don't you tell me here and now? And again, does it have anything to do with the problem in my family? Some things are better not said. There is something else that you must know. Like I said already, I, Ono Akajugo of Ozuno, will personally send a message across to you. And in that message, I will address this matter with all the facts that would guide and judge your actions. If you look around very well, you will know that this is Father's main living room, where Father receives his visitors. Both of you should not be here. Hey, hey, hey! Why are you this part is okay? Why are you endlessly looking for trouble? Your mama is there. This is not about her troubles. I want to know what gave you the gods to tell us where to be and where not to be in this palace. Listening to both of you speak, I now know why the king refers to you as fools. What? Which king? Which king refers to us as fools? If you are not a fool, you will know that the staff of the king is kept right inside this cupboard. Now what are you loose bitches doing here? Now this is the height of it. Look at this. This cheap daughter of a classless woman calling this same princesses bitches. Who be the princess? Tofna. Ah, sorry for yourself. Why are you lying? You know what, Chidera? Enough. Get out. Get out of this place! <laughs> You, you want me out of my father's living room? You are the fool that made mention of the staff of the kings. A prostitute like you should not be anywhere near that staff. And here you are standing right before it. Now, get out. Out. I should get out. Yes. Get out! Now, both of you are jokers. Come and take me out. Shoma, if I beat out, out, swear out, now. out. If I out, 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 Please, wait, my prince. Uh, oh, did you forget any important detail? Uh, no. You have finished all the kingdom business that brought you here. Okay. Uh, I just want to know if I have your permission to peep into your private affair. A peep into my private affair? What does that mean? People are complaining. In fact, it has become a topic that young women gossip about. Do you need help in this way? I don't understand. You have not said anything on all. I mean, your relationship with women. A man from the royal lineage 
must be bold. And why are you shy? You cannot look a woman in the eyes. Do you need help? No, like you said, it is my private life. Please don't make it a kingdom affair. Okay? When I see my woman, I will look her straight in the face. Thank you. The head prince of Ozuna is gynophobic. This is not good at all. The enmity between those two boys is getting worse. Seriously. And Nkozeka is the problem in that palace. She is the root of that problem. I am telling you. And it is so clear to me that she has been the one poisoning the minds of her children. You are right. Why would she say her son will be the one to emerge as king after their father? When Chukun also is the first son. Ask me. And the way she's going about it. The kind of zeal and energy she is investing into that means she is actually determined to get what she wants. I don't understand that woman. Hmm. Ngozika. That woman has been a problem from the outset. I wonder why your brother married her. You don't know? Hmm. He didn't tell you? Mm -mm. That means I've never asked. He said he married her because she is the sweetest. Can you imagine? Hmm. I don't even want to go into that because as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't just make sense to me. The issue here is that I am bothered with the war in that family. It pains me in my heart. I am just hoping, I'm just hoping that it is not going to escalate to the point that other people will notice that there is no peace in the royal home. No, of course they will. No secret lasts forever. Sooner or later, people will get to know that the first family in our zone is in disarray. Have I said anything wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? I am hungry. Give me food to eat. Ah. Mm. Your wish is my command. Teresa, Teresa. <laughs> One wife is peace indeed. What did I say? I'm a fool. Good. You're stupid. What did I say? I'm stupid. You're a bigger fool. What did I say? I'm a bigger fool. Good. Now next time, when you see a prince alight from the car, you take his briefcase. Hmm? And you? Your mother did not teach you that when a prince parks his car, you go and look inside of it. If there's anything you need to take inside, you don't know that part. Fools! I don't know why my father pays you before. So sorry for yourself. What is going on here? Um, how is it? Your business? You have no words anymore. I just asked the question, mister. I said, how is it your business? Father and I have been waiting for you. Join us inside. Now 
you. See that car? Yes, my friends. I am going to club in that car. Do you know what you do? Yes, my friends. Shut up. You don't know nothing. You wash it, you keep it clean. What did I say? I wash it, I keep it clean. Good. 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 Thank you, my friends. Alright? Thank you, my friends. Is there anything I said you didn't understand if I to go? Are you done? How do you mean if I am done? I just told you your sister fought with Choma and Cynthia and that your sister was the cause of the fight. And you're asking me if I am done? How has women fighting and exchanging words in this palace suddenly become my business? Is this why you called me for this meeting? I want you to talk to your sister. Talk some sense into her as the elder brother that you are. Oh, you just confirmed to me that this is the reason you called me for this meeting. I am disappointed. For your information, I do not discuss women. I don't have more busy things to do than that. You dare not walk out on me. If I... Did you see that? He walked out on you like you were nobody. Without respect. I wonder why you keep tolerating this disrespectful son of yours. I've told you how to do that. Call the drug law enforcement agents. Hand him over to them and they will restore his sanity. Oh, One hand. What nonsense advice are you giving? If you don't have something important and useful to say, you better be quiet. Why you call her Why do I keep having this feeling? Why do I keep having this feeling that father likes this guy because of his rascality? Why can't he caution him? If I need to go, can't you see they are pushing us out of the ship already? They cannot do that, mother. Mom, Chioma and her sister had the guts to start a fight with me in my father's living room. That's an insult. A huge insult to us. All right, um, I had a very hectic day today at work, so I just need to go upstairs. Freshen up and sleep a little. I will be going to club later today and I will see you guys when I return. Is that all you have to say? Is that all you have to say? Now, how does this connect? I am talking about serious issues here. You're talking about your club. How does that concern me? How? <laughs> Mommy, why is it that when I say something serious, he doesn't take it seriously? Why? He'll come around soon, okay? This is not funny. You don't want to say anything. I can see you're engrossed in that thing you're reading. Oh! What is it, Ngozika? Please let me be! Let me concentrate! Your Majesty, what is it? The Prime Minister's son brought this message. He said it's for you. For me? Yes, sir. You may leave. What could this be? Hmm. 
And what are you trying to do? Nothing. I hope you did not in any way read this letter with me. Ah, no, no, your majesty, not at all. Listen, Ngozi. I may not know what you have seen, but on no account must you discuss the content of this letter to anyone. Because you will not like what I will do if you disobey me. Your majesty, why are you threatening me? I told you I did not see anything. I couldn't have read from here. No. Huh? I don't get it, Your Majesty. You are visiting your Prime Minister and you don't want to come in into the living room or follow me to my humble sit-out so I can offer you cola as a king. Where, where is it though? Oh, don't ask me that. For it is already happening here and now. What sort of letter did you write to me? Your Majesty, I promised to send a message across to you. You already know me. I keep to my promises. You don't understand or know, do you? I want you to explain to me the content of that letter. What does it mean? I am here for that. Explain it to me. Your Majesty, I am sorry I have nothing to explain. What I wrote is the true position of things. And that is all. Will you at least come in and sit? Hmm. Mommy, you're looking very happy. Is that something you're not telling me? I should be happy. Okay, I don't understand. Does it have anything to do with the meeting you held with Dad? Did he tell you something nice? I don't know. What do you mean by I don't know? It's nothing. Mom? Yes? Are you hiding something? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Mm. Ah, I'm in the mood to drink. Can you get me something nice to drink? And you are telling me there is nothing. Mommy, can you spill the beans? Okay, I am a grown-up girl now. I can handle anything. What is it? Why are you surprised? I'm surprised because you didn't tell me you were coming. I am the president and CEO of this company. I have the right to come in here anytime, remember? Yes, you have the right to come around, but I wasn't expecting you. That is all right. How has business been today? Well, Dad, business has been good. I spoke to Mr. Mark a couple of minutes ago. Oh, about the trucks we paid for, right? Yes, exactly. Dad? Yes, son. Are you alright? Of course I am. Why did you ask? Your countenance stays otherwise. I am fine. Well, I have to be in my office for a while before I leave. I'll see you then. That woman is something else. Why would she be fighting over what rightfully belongs to another? That is it, my friend. Ngozika is just troublesome. I don't know. Talking about her son. Is he not that same son of hers that behaves like a lout? Oh, my friend. 
<laughs> I am glad you know that. That goes about sniffing all the banned substances, looking for trouble everywhere. I wonder how he's going to rule this kingdom if he's made a king. It is not even just that. He is the second son, and there is no way he can take over from his father when he is gone. Thank you, my friend. Your son, Chukunonso, is the first son, and the rightful person to emerge as the king. Thank you, my friend, for that confirmation again. At least it's making my heart come down a little. It's crazy. Just don't mind her, Piko. Let's talk about something else. A women's guild known as Ozuna Professionals wrote me a letter. I know that guild. Mm -hmm. They are very professional. Exactly. Please, what do they want? They say they want to give me a leadership award. Eh? Yes. This is what we should be talking about and not that Ngozik and our troubles. <laughs> anyway, in that letter they said so much. They said a lot. I am thinking of going with powerful women like you to receive the award. I am going to organize the women that will go with us. We are going to make it so loud mm -hmm. that award alone will put Ngozika in check. Trust Thank me. Thank you. Thank you. I said, <laughs> let's drink to that. Yes. <laughs> mm. Choki, choki. Choki, choki. Mm, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, if I need to go, the naturally high operator. <laughs> no, I can't give me last. I think. Look at Jogi. What did that girl smoke? Waiting the girl smoke. Because that girl finished me. She dealt with me. Man, that girl on a horse. Should I shock you? She smoked nothing. Velaro is naturally high when it comes to handling men that she likes. And that is why I arranged her for my man, the naturally high prince. Jockey, jockey. You know, she actually told me that you finished her. Who is telling me the truth? No, just take a good look at us. We're smoking and we are having fun. But if Jerry were to be here, the reverse would have been the case. He would start telling me about my smoking habits, saying all sort of sermons, making me feel like I'm a terrible person. Forget about Jerry. Jerry is a Jew man now. You should have known that by now. In fact, Jerry should have become a priest. I'm telling you, he should have been a priest. I mean, someone that owns one big Aladura church. I bet more leave Jerry issue and you see that girl? I am going to buy her a car. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Are you serious? Of course you know me too well, man. I don't say things I would not do. That girl was busy giving me pleasure. She was busy having fun. She was enjoying herself, but little did she know that she was sowing a seed for a car. <laughs> that means she deserves it. What? If I... Where is this place? You mean you don't like this place? Fred, I am a princess. I am used to going to posh places. This place is not befitting. This place is called Mide Bar, and it remains the most coded bar in this town. What does that mean? Baby, remember when you called me earlier, you told me you were honey. Okay, even if I said I was honey. Why did you bring me to such a place? We should be in the room, not a bar. <laughs> Baby, meet the bar. It's a crazy bar where we can do crazy things, okay? Just relax, I know you like it. Come on. Mm. Sir, you call 
with me. Kneel down and hands up. Is there a problem? This one you're telling me to kneel down. I said, kneel down and hands up. And then shut up. An unusual visitor barged in on me when I was doing my thing with my friend. Why did that happen? Sir, the only person who just left this office is the king, your father. Is it the one you're referring to as an unusual visitor? Next time this happens, the next time you allow someone gain access to my office without my consent, that will be your last day on earth. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. wrong with that? Did I hear you clearly? Your Majesty, you heard me clearly. Truly, what is wrong with it? Are you just realizing he smokes? He has been smoking here in the palace, even close to your window. Why are you making a case out of nothing? Honestly, I am disappointed in you. Yeah. I told you I caught your son smoking Indian hemp with his friend in the office. That is my company to be precise. Mm. And you're asking me what is wrong with that? Ah. Truly, your majesty, what is wrong with that? Smoking is smoking. Whether he smokes here at the palace or at the office, he smokes. Your majesty, please. If I took my son is a radical prince who will become a radical king, not like that son of yours who is a weakling and behaves like a woman. Get out of my presence. I said get out of my presence. <sighs> you don't need to shout. I'll go. <sighs> mm. <sighs> what kind of a woman did I marry? Why am I the only one worried about this? I can bet mom is more worried than you. So why are you not thinking about it? Marriage is a beautiful thing. And as the one who will take over from the king, you should have a wife by now. I know mom put those words in your mouth. No, that's not true. I'm talking about it because the time is ripe. Well, unfortunately, I have not seen the woman to marry. So go tell the person that sent you, Mom, I know, tell her exactly what I said. Hmm. Mm. So should I take that to mean you are searching already for one? Or should we assist you in getting one? Well, assist yourself in getting a husband. When you do that, you can assist me. But as long as you're not single, let me be. Mom, I cannot do without smoking. Smoking is part of me. It is my addiction. You have your addiction. You take white wine every day, so that is your addiction. Smoking is my addiction. Not just any smoke. The one that I mold by myself. And no one no one will stop me. I don't even have time to explain to anybody. It's okay, son. I understand you. Don't mind your father. He's just been very lame and numb. Just like Chupunonso. 
Why will he even barge into my office? Looking for a cheap excuse he will never get. Mom, do you know what I feel like eating tomorrow? Mm -hmm. A well prepared vegetable cochlea. <gasps> Just like the one grandmother used to prepare. The more reason you should start thinking about getting married. You know, you get a wife who will cook whatever you want to eat. Do you know the stress involved in preparing vegetable kukuyam? But Mona, that's what I want to eat tomorrow. Well, I want us to discuss something else. But I don't think it's the right time yet. I don't understand. I know. Son, I know you won't understand. Well, you know I hate things like this. I hate things like this. How can you start something you know you are not going to finish? Well, mm. well it's not if you if you. It's you. Oh. Welcome. Hey, where are you coming from by this time of the night? I went to see a friend. A friend? Yes, mom. A friend that has no name? You tell me this now. I don't want to concern you. Do you know my friends? Do you? I beg, I just go beg you. Respect yourself this time. Today, hear me soon. I don't want to Allah. I'll go sleep. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. I think I would also go and sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, sir. Good night, man. I know why you're here. You want the feedback for the elders, right? Yes, my friend. Okay, fine. Uh, tell them I will see them when I return from work in the evening. Okay? Oh, okay, my friend. Uh, what about Ichi Okolo? You know he wanted to see you personally the other time he came with the other elders. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I will see him when I return from work. Okay, my friend. Prince Chukunon So, a full zone of kingdom. I can see you have some messages for the elders in council, right? Um, how is that your business? Well, I just want to tell you to stop parading yourself and presenting yourself as a more relevant prince. What does that mean? My son will emerge as king after your father. Are you not tired yet? You don't seem to understand, right? <laughs> Listen, I know the succession process in this kingdom much more than you know. So stop wasting your time and listen, let me tell you something. My son, if I need you, will be the king, the future king of this kingdom. Mark my words. Someday, you will get to understand what I told you this day. What crime? What crime did my father commit that it ended up with this kind of a woman? I'm surprised you're the one doing this. Why play into her hands by remaining here? Get up and go to work. That woman has spoiled my day. You know, she said she knows a lot about succession procedure in her kingdom. That I should mark her words. That if I knew Chuku will emerge the next king, 
And because of that, you're here looking wounded. Come on, brother. Gladden my heart and see that woman for who she really is. A mischief maker. Chama, you understand? That woman spoke to me. You know, she spoke to me like someone who knows certain things that we don't know. She doesn't know anything. You worry too much. Do not fall for one of her cheap tricks. She's just trying to break you. You think so? I know so. You can ask for that about her. Ngozeka is a busybody. That is why I'm here now. To give me that information. You mean, you mean you came to my house this early? Just to ask me the content of the letter I sent to your brother the king? Yes. The letter came from you. And it has devastated my brother. I'll be asking him. Tell me what you wrote in the letter. Tell me the context of the letter. And my brother is not saying anything to me. I am disappointed in you, Udoka. Why? Why? How can you leave your house this early just to ask me this? Such questions. No, no, it, no. Don't see it as a triviality. It is something serious. You know, Akajugo. I am not an outsider. The man in question that you wrote a letter to and got him destabilized is my only brother. And he is not finding what you wrote. He's not finding it funny. He is not himself anymore. So, is it possible for you to tell me exactly what you wrote on him? I, I, I don't want to lose my brother. I am sorry, Udoka. I cannot tell you what I wrote to your brother. Why? And I would not like to continue this discussion, please. The adverts you saw in the newspapers that brought you here is not based on falsehood, like most of the adverts you see flying around. We are the best when it comes to steelworks, and our roofing department is unarguably the best in this country. So, can we talk business? Mr. Ifanyobiako, right? Wrong. Prince Ifanyichuku Obiako. Sorry, Prince Ifanyichuku. It's not in doubt that your company produces high quality steel. My partner here has something in mind which he would like to ask. Why not? Come on. Let's hear you. Sorry to ask, Prince Ifanyichuku. It's okay. It's just that we don't like dealing with people who indulge in certain acts. I don't understand. What certain acts are you talking about? Do you smoke Indian hemp? What, what sort of questions? What kind of examination is that? Don't be offended, Prince Ifani. I've been smelling this flavor of Indian hemp since we came into the office. Exactly. And we don't like dealing with people who take that to avoid troubles. Prince Ifani Chuku. What does that mean? What are you trying to talk about? That I'm a mad person or what? No, 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 not really. Far from that. We are only saying that people who take Indian hair... Get hem, out of my office. It has not gotten to this extent, Prince Ifani Chuku. I will not repeat myself. I will not say it again nicely. You can do business, please. We are only avoiding troubles. Get out of my office. Talk to Prince Ifani. What? As one of the princesses in Ozono Palace, I expect your reasoning to be above the reasoning of ordinary girls. And that is the truth. Or oh, do you think otherwise? Not exactly. But I'm wondering why you're finding it difficult doing what you ask. I never said I am not going to do it. The issue now is that I am just not in the mood to talk. How do you want us to put you in the mood? We're ready to talk.
<laughs> Why did you do that? Because of my sister. Because of that fool. Which fool? Cynthia. That is her mother's car in there. And I know she's going to die when she sees me doing this. So, where do you want us to go and make this thing real good? Honestly, I never wanted to do anything to me. But because of that fool, I am so going to do it. If she wants to die, let her die. Yeah. So let's go inside and, you know. Hey, come on. Come on, baby. You're looking so hot. No! <laughs> You mean he refused to tell you what the letter was all about? Teresa, you heard me right. He refused to say anything. The most annoying part is that Ono Waka Joko told me that he is disappointed in me for even asking. Can you imagine that? Could that be? I don't know. And um, but I will promise you something. I am going to find out. Not as if I am bothered, but I'm just curious to know. I will know what is in that letter. Trust me. Okay. Let me hear you in. I'll see you later. Try and come back at the place. I will. Bye. I was dumbfounded. You should have seen the way she was busy caressing those guys. On the road? To be honest, Mom, she didn't even coordinate herself when she saw me. She kept doing what she was doing. <laughs> hey. Are you just knowing Chidera is a whore? You hmm. are the one who is a whore. You are a whore. So you've been eavesdropping on our conversation, Azija. Are you not ashamed of yourself and your daughter? You should be ashamed of yourself and your mother. Eh? Oh, oh shut up! What's that? Ngozi, can look at what you're doing to your children. You're just turning them into something else. Thank God you said they are my children, not your children. Because they are my children, I have the right to give them whatever orientation I want. It is not your business. Can you hear yourself talk? Oh, shut up. Can you listen to yourself? You should talk to Chidera if you really love her as you claim. Talk to her! Will you shut that your painted mouth? Look at this one. Who knows what you're doing secretly? Hey! Hey, hey shut up! What is that? Lousy, Will you daughter. shut up? Oh, with your daughter. Daughter. Look at this one! She accosted me on my way to work once again. And she gave herself out like a woman who never deserves to be married by a king like you. Why are you still tolerating this woman? She was not like this when I married her. She was a decent woman. Why marry her in the first place, father? My mother gave birth to me immediately after her marriage, which simply implies that she wasn't barren. Why involve this family in this needless war caused by polygamy? I learned your brother chased away some men that came for business at the office. Father, please, I don't want to discuss the family trouble. I've told you what to do. Hand him over to drug law enforcement agents and they will teach him some business lessons. Why? Chukunonso, why do you hate your brother this much? Why do you want him to be arrested? It's obvious you don't want this solved. Okay, fine. Good. Please, what about the file I gave you to correct for me? I want to see what you've done. Go to my room. On the bed, there is a briefcase. The file is in there. Thank you. Hello? Uh, uh, yes, yes. It will be my pleasure to have you at the palace tomorrow at noon. Yeah, actually there is a problem. But it's not something you cannot solve. Yeah, it's something you can handle. 
As a retired U.S. Marine, you are the one I can talk to. Yes, thank you. From the Prime Minister. Am I dreaming of what? What? You read the letter addressed to the king? Don't make me begin to believe that you are as useless as they say. How could you read the king's letter? You know, Wakaju, the issue is that I have read the letter already. And as a result of that, I couldn't sleep last night. Would you mind explaining to me what you wrote in that letter? Is the king aware that you read the letter? No. He's not aware. I don't know what to tell you now. You saw a letter addressed to the king. You read it. And you approached me, the sender, to explain what I wrote. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Well, no, Wakajugo. I know you were a man that jokes a lot. Please assure me that what you wrote in that letter is one of your jokes. Unfortunately, what I penned down is the emphatic position of succession of this land. It is not a joke and will never be a joke. If you don't mind, I would want to be left alone. Well, unfortunately, I'm not stepping an inch until you explain to me what you wrote in that letter. Chidera, I will ask you this for the very last time. Is it true? What do you mean, if it's true? She's grown up. She's old enough to, to have a boyfriend. Boyfriend or boyfriends? And does it really matter? Will you shut up? Look at this idiot. You are there for you to talk back at me? Are you mad? Look at this stupid daughter of yours. She is sleeping with two friends. Does that make you a big girl? Does that make you a big girl? Look at this stupid. You you're, you're, you're stupid. I am not stupid. Slap the hell out of you! Look at this idiot! Do you look ashamed of yourself? It is okay if I need Chukuno. You should be shouting at Chukuno so and her sisters, not your sisters. Look, mom, I do not have a word for you. You, be careful. Be careful! Pray I don't catch you and those stupid bastards that you are rolling with. And mother, why are you not condemning this in any way? Your stupid daughter here is sleeping with two men and you were not bothered? You were not bothered? Nonsense! Pray I don't catch you! Monkeys! But Mumi, why is he shouting? Why is he shouting? You shut up. Just shut up. What's your problem? Why are you so loose? You are dating two men and you're not even denying it. Don't let me slap you. What's that? Mommy, you too, you want to shout? You, you want to shout at me? You are even worse than me. Yes! Mommy, I have been going through your phone and I know all your boyfriends. Yes! Just maintain your name. Respect yourself and maintain your name so we don't have a head-on collision. You want to shout? Ah. Uh... This girl is evil. So she's been going through my phone. Yeah. What do I do now? Our number you dialed is switched off, but you can send an instant voice message to the call. So my is not calling. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, my beautiful damsel. Good morning, Your Majesty. I hope you slept well. Yes, Dad. Yes, Dad. Good morning, Your Majesty. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And you? I'm fine. Has anyone seen Nanso this morning? Uh, no. No. I was about coming to ask you if you've seen him because we are trying to call his number and it's switched off. I have been calling the number myself and it's switched off. That is why I came to see if he's here. No one has seen him in the palace. Besides, no one saw him leave the palace. 
I hope nothing has happened to him. Your Majesty, what should we do? Uh, I know this will have to do with Zephyr and his mother. Oh no, don't say that. Let's not be hasty in drawing conclusions. I think we should give him some time. Maybe he will return our calls or even return to the palace. Oh no, you were emphatic in that letter. That any of the king's sons, brothers, or even family members can match him. And not necessarily his first son. I don't know why a man in your position would write a thing like that. My prayers. Don't make it appear as if I sat down in my house and wrote down what never existed. What I wrote is the position of succession in our land. I can go down memory lane and call kings and how they emerged. Why is this so? It is not being done like that in other kingdoms. Why must our own be different? That is a question I cannot answer, my prince. As I've already told you, it is our tradition. The two wives of the king are trying to burn down the palace. And I needed to remind him that we are not restricted to his sons. The other members of the royal lineage can be considered because they are also part of the real lineage of Uzuna. That means I stand the chance of losing the throne. No, that can be. Oh, no. What should I do? Nothing. Nothing? Yes. The living will decide who becomes king after your father must have joined our ancestors. If it happens to be you, so be it. If not, know that it's not your fate to be king. I am disappointed that the two princes in the palace are busy discussing succession while the king is still alive. That is disrespectful. I am officially done with this meeting. How could that be? That can't be possible. How sure are we that Zephyr and the mom did not bribe the Prime Minister to fake the so-called tradition? Uh, I thought about that. And then again, I remember that the Prime Minister is a noble man who does not involve himself in any form of cheating or deceit. Nothing is impossible, my brother. Nothing. Chioma is right. Why would our tradition be different from others? I mean, that is crazy. I'm confused. Honestly. He told me that any descendant of Obia Konzakon Obi can emerge as the king. And there's no place for the first son of the sitting king. <sighs> Have you discussed that with your father? Not yet. Then we need to hear from him this moment. Son, it is not my fault. I am glad you confirmed from the Prime Minister that it is our tradition. Yes, the Prime Minister said it. But you are the king, the custodian of our tradition. What kind of hopeless tradition is that? I still can't believe this. It is simple, Your Majesty. Just like the Prime Minister told you, Kunonso, that it is the living that decides who emerges king after the demise of the sitting king. I want you to decide on that and name Chukunonso here, the heir to your throne. Yes. Impossible! That will never happen. At least not when I'm still alive. I guess you have a hand in this. I, I don't really care what you think. Your Majesty, Uzuno Kingdom deserves a radical king. A decisive man who could solve problems 
not some spineless individual. If you ask me, my king, if I find Chuku is the man. You're shameless, Ngozika. You're so shameless. I agree with you, Akunne. I am shameless. Only fools refer to what they don't know as shameful. You are daft, Akunne. Which is better? Your plans will never work. Neither would your people. Oh, shut up, Pink. Oh, Keep quiet. Oh, shut up. All I know is that my brother must be named the heir to the throne. Oh, shut yes. up. No, you shut, shut up. up. Oh, shut, shut up. up. Oh, shut up. up. Oh, shut up. up. You need to talk back to her. Shut up. They want to name that weekend Jogunonso the heir to the throne. When I have an able son who is capable of ruling this kingdom, <laughs> ah, that will never happen. But, mommy, why didn't you tell Ifa and Chuku and I about the letter? I just did. You should have at least told us before now. The king forced me to take an oath. Honestly, you people do not understand the politics in this palace. Get me that phone. Ichigo, I want you to leave whatever you're doing in that office and come home right away. Mom, I don't, I don't like the way you're sounding. What is the problem? Why are you asking me so many questions? Just come home. Look, Mom, I don't know how you're sounding this way, but I have a gun in my room. I can tell you where to pick it up. Use it to defend yourself until I get there. I don't have any use for a gun. Just come home. Mom? What could be the problem? Um, Mom, are you going to tell him everything when he comes? Exactly. This is the right time to tell him everything. But these people are very stupid. What makes them feel that Chukun Nonso, with his sluggish and his lame lifestyle, will make a better king in the kingdom? Mm. Mm. Mom, you mentioned the gun. Are you going to use it? Shut up. Just shut up. Son, you have to go to work. You occupy a sensitive position in that company. I am begging you. Please go to work. When you come back, we will talk things over. I'm sorry, Dad. I can't. In fact, I won't. I feel so uncomfortable living in this palace right now when my bedrest is at stake. Son, I understand your pain. Believe me, I am not happy about this either. Then name me the heir to the throne. That will solve it all. It is not as simple as that, my son. Then it's complicated. I'm sorry, Dad, don't take this personal. Don't see that I walked out on you. But at this point, I need to be alone. Why didn't you tell me all this while? A lot of things came up. The king threatened me. Moreover, I felt it wasn't the right time. I don't understand. You mean to tell me that I, if I in Chukwu, can emerge as king? Yes, son. I knew it was possible even before the prime minister sent that letter. But I just wanted to be sure. 
You heard what mom just said now. If you like, keep saying, the throne belongs to my elder brother. That reminds me of exit card in secondary school. Don't always underestimate your brother. The king told me in confidence that the process is not an easy one. I wonder what that means. So you're here, Prince Jumanso. I heard that you and your mother were on the verge of making the king proclaim you as the heir apparent. Ifanichu, we invited you to this meeting. This is my father's palace. My future palace! And I have the right to walk in any time. A point of correction. This is my palace, not yours. And can never be yours. My brother is right. You and your mother are just wasting your time, hoping you become king. Never. Not now, not ever. I was not interested in the throne before now. But after my mom told me everything, I realized that the throne belongs to me. If I in Chuku of Uzuno, the one that is naturally high. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you, we don't have a problem with your state of highness. That's your business. You can smoke your brains off if you so care. It doesn't pay to us. But I want to advise you to wake up from your dream. Because the truth of Ozuno can never belong to you. It can never, never. Watch it happen. I can see now that those nonsense you smoke have entered deep into your brains. Are you just getting to know? If I need to believe you. Leave here this minute! He said you should leave. Leave! What would you do? You want to know? Adam, I see you've grown balls. Oh, if I should leave, leave here! Get out! What if he doesn't leave? What will happen? My friend, move. What will happen? Once I can leave my living room. Excuse me? I said, leave my living room. Is this what you call a living room? A place you couldn't even tidy up? Son, please talk. Mom, you don't need to tell her to leave. Cynthia and I. Drag her out. Yes. You wish. Try it. One more word from you. You will see how brutal I am. If I you, don't provoke me further. Don't provoke me further! Because I'm boiling! <laughs> One more step! One more step! Do you will know what I will do! Move! He said you should move. So that's the contents of the letter? Yes, yeah, Sudoka. And now it has brought more problems. It is like adding salt to injury. This is so confusing. How come I am not aware of that? Aware of what? I mean, that particular provision of our tradition. I am hearing, I am hearing it for the very first time. Sudoka, I am as confused as you are. I don't know why Onowo decided to write that letter. And now it has destroyed what was left of the peace that we were trying to build. No longer Zika is a woman of this kingdom. And she understands the order of succession to the throne. The first son takes over from the king. I am sure she knows this rule. Why didn't she position in her son? Finally. Here you are. 
This is where you came to plant your retarded self. Whatever it is you're planning will not work. For your information, I am going nowhere. You have drawn the battle line. I accept your challenge. But you do not know what you're dealing with. Soon, you will. If I need you do not push me beyond the limits I can take. Do not. Because if you dare succeed in doing that, I will turn you off. Are you threatening me? Huh? Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me? Do you want me to turn you off first? You are a fool to think I'll be threatened by this stupid gun of yours. Pull the trigger. No, if you think you're man enough, pull the trigger. Let's see who will drop dead here. You couldn't. Useless animal. You dug your grave the very second you decided to contest my death right. But you know what? I will turn you off. If I ain't chukun, if I ain't chukun, I pass on me away. If I swore me away, I'm funny like a candle. Really? <laughs> My sister, that is the latest. Huh. But you know what? Whether they like it or not, my brother will be the king of this kingdom. <laughs> Lizzie. Lizzie. Oh, Chidera, I'm so, so sorry, okay? Where were you? Something just got into my mind now. Okay. Now, what could that be? Yeah, Chidera, come to think of this. What if your brother gets married to me and becomes the king? <coughs> Don't you think I'll be the next queen in this land? <coughs> What's funny? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, Lizzie, are you serious or you're pulling my legs? <sighs> Chidera, why is, what are you saying? Why will I be pulling your legs? Hey? <coughs> Chidera, just take a very good look at me. Am I not the true definition of elegance? And let me ask you this. What happens if your brother settles with me and makes me his wife? Is he not going to be the happiest man on earth? Um, Lizzie, please. It's not as if I'm insulting you. I don't get it. Eh? Don't just forget about that topic. Chidera, hmm? why? Please, let's forget about it, please. That picture we took yesterday, very beautiful. I didn't look at that in any picture. Just look picture, forget it. Picture there. It is clear from the look on your faces that there is something bothering you. Is it something I can solve? Yes, Dad. We believe you can solve the problem. And by that, you just confirmed there is a problem. What exactly is it? It is about the problem in the family. I mean, the problem caused by polygamy. As unfortunate children who have found themselves on the crossroads in this needless battle, we have started reading books on polygamy. What? Are you serious? What books? I mean, who are the authors? Dad, we have come to know that problems rise in polygamous homes like ours if the head is not decisive enough. That is when large cities are left unchecked. So, we are here to talk to you as your daughters. Please, solve this problem. So, how do you want me to solve this problem? Chukunonsu, our brother, your first son, 
make a good king. He's calm, gentle, and pays attention to details. He is made in the mood of kings. Yes. We want you to issue a statement that he is the heir to the throne. And not Ifani, who is not only disrespectful, but also smokes all the banned substances. Is there anything I said you didn't understand, if I you go? Are you done? How do you mean if I am done? I just told you your sister fought with Choma and Cynthia, and that your sister was the cause of the fight. Are you asking me if I am done? How has women fighting and exchanging words in this palace suddenly become my business? Is this why you called me for this meeting? I want you to talk to your sister. Talk some sense into her as the elder brother that you are. Oh, you just confirmed to me that this is the reason you called me for this meeting. I am disappointed. For your information, I do not discuss women. I have more busy things to do than that. You dare not walk out on me. I have heard you. I know what to do. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Thank you. But Chucky, you will not understand. You will not understand! Look, I am boiling inside! I am boiling! Calm down. Calm down, If I had blasted that bastard and sent him to hell, tell me, what would have happened? Perhaps you would have been arrested, prosecuted, and sent to prison. Is that what you want? Is it not better? It's not. It is better. It's Joe. not better. It is better. Look at the fool that cannot stand before a woman and talk. Coming to stand before me to compete with me. And on top of that, aspiring to become the next king of our kingdom. How is that possible? Listen, I'm sure your father will not make the mistake of naming him the heir to the throne. The throne is yours because you are able and capable. Calm down. Sit down. Let me prepare you something good to smoke. Jockey, if you must get me something, get me something that will calm my freed nerves. Please. Don't worry. I will get you what you want. I will add each of stuff in it. And you will feel so good right now. No, so. No, so. Calling me this morning, son, is the best thing you have done. And I, I sincerely appreciate this call. Yeah. But my problem is when are you coming back to this country? Or oh, have you made America your work? Is all right? Yes. Yes. It's okay. It's okay, son. Oh, your mom. Just as if she turned you. She, she just said that uh, she's actually standing at me. You want to say hi to her? Okay, you just hold on. Be very brief. <laughs> Hello, son. Yes, I'm here. Um, okay, I'll tell her mother what you said, okay? Take good care of yourself for me, okay? And don't forget to be a good boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, bye. Is everything all right? Teresa. Why are you looking at me like that? I heard what you said to my son and I cancel everything immediately. What did you hear? What are you canceling? How could you be planning this disaster right under my nose without telling me? How could you? What disaster are you talking about? You just said to my son that you will call her mother to tell her what my son said. It simply means you have been arranging a wife for my son right under my nose. 
Can you deny it? Ichi Udoka. So arranging a wife for my son is what you call disaster. When will you stop being careless with words? When? Careless with words? Yes. Did anybody arrange you for me? No, was I not the one that arranged you for myself? Is that not why I've been managing you? Despite all the nonsense I've been doing? Because I find it for myself? How could you be planning to arrange your wife for my son? I, I, are you okay? Listen to me. Don't try it. Because I want my son to marry an American woman. No way! My son will never do a thing like that. Yes, who is there? Good morning, Sheodoka. Uh, palace guard, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. The king wants you immediately. Is there a problem? I don't know, for I'm only a messenger in the palace. Go back to the palace and tell the king I will be with him shortly. There is something I want to trash out with my wife before coming. Very important. All right. The king will be of that. Teresa, listen to me. Whatever plan you have is here by council. Don't even call my son to say any nonsense to him concerning anyone. In fact, I will call him myself. Let me just arrange that and go see if he can do that for you. I can't wipe my foot. Not in this house. My presence is needed at the palace. Yes or no? It's okay. Return to the palace. I'll be there soon. It's alright or no? Father, I gather that this is a family meeting. The Omo is not part of our family. Not only that, I'm bothered that my mother, who is the original queen in this palace, is not here. I am the king of this land. And directly, I am the head of this family. I called this meeting, and I know why I brought in the unknown. If I left your mothers out of this meeting, you should know I have a reason. So you mean my mother is equally not part of this meeting? There have been a lot of fighting and quarreling in this palace, which is irritatingly getting out of hand. And that is why I have summoned you all before this sacred staff, so that we can settle this problem once and for all. The Onowu is here as a witness. Father, we are listening. Tell us how you intend to solve this issue. Do not be faster than your shadow if I to go. I want to name my successor. And I am not going to waste so much time on that. Brief your mothers accordingly. I hereby declare, Prince, you will do no such thing. Your Majesty. What? It is not in your power to name the successor. What do you mean, Anu? The king must do his best. And afterwards, join our ancestors. The staff of the kings returns as the property of the kingdom. The selection of who succeeds him is something the living will decide. But Onu Wakajugo, that is exactly what the king wants to do now that he is alive. To name one of his sons as a successor. So that when he dies, there will not be any problem in the family. Do you have any problem with that? Uh, thank you, Doka. God will bless you. That is why I had never for once regretted having you as a brother. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no one I am disappointed. Highly disappointed. 
How could it be said that men who are born in the lineage of kings do not know the custom of the land as it concerns succession to the throne? Nobody in Uzu now is allowed to discuss succession as long as the king is alive. I am leaving. I will not be a witness to anything. You may continue your family declaration. And let me state it clearly, without fear or contradiction, whatever you declare here remains here and has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with Uzu no. No. Why do I have a feeling that Ono just aborted a coup? Father, are you the head of this coup? I'll take <laughs> Again. Your Majesty, no matter the provocation, you shouldn't have slapped your son. I shouldn't be telling you this because I believe you know. Odoka, can we forget about that fool and concentrate on the confusion the Ono has created in this family? I don't know why I invited him in the first place. Oh, my brother, you should not be blaming yourself for inviting him. Why? You did the right thing. Such a giant meeting where you plan to make a declaration on the revered staff of the kings of Uzuno cannot happen without the Ono of the land. So inviting him here was never a mistake. Don't blame yourself. My only problem now is that he has poured more fuel into the fire burning in this palace. And I, I just don't know how we are going to quench that fire now. Honestly, I have run out of ideas. I don't know what to do. But there is something going on in my mind. What is it? The Onowu has been acting strange. Yeah. Are you sure he's not planning to terminate royalty from our family? Is it possible? But the way it's going, I'm thinking so. You could be right. Oh. Yeah, but we cannot afford to draw conclusions just like that. We have to investigate further. You know what you think? You have a point. I blame myself. I blame myself in all of this. Why? Why blame yourself? Because Father warned me. Father confided in me that he was going to invite Ono. And I said, yes. I want to know Allah. I didn't know he could do a thing like this. Brother Chukunoso, should I tell you something? I knew that Ono is a man of many sides. That was why I raised alarm when I saw him. Finally, he crumbled everything. I hate that man. I hate that man so much. Just imagine a declaration that would have ended the war in this palace. I wonder why he was invited. The most annoying part was his conclusion. He said no successor can be named until the passage of the king. You know what that means? They want to name another. <laughs> but I'm a <mafia's> here. <laughs> name who? If I you, is Ono who that stupid? How can anyone bestow kingship on a lunatic? How? He's already behaving stupidly, so I wouldn't know. In all this, I am confused. I'm very confused. Is there anyone we can approach for broader clarification? Oh no, who cannot be the ultimate decider of the way forward? Why on earth would he slap me? He knew I was making a valid point. 
I swear to God, mother, if not that I was in the presence of the revered staff of kings, else I would have rushed him. Excuse me? What did you just say? You would have rushed your father as in engaging him in a fight? If he wasn't ready to be engaged in a fight, he wouldn't have drawn the first blood. They planned to name that fool the successor through a, a, a crooked declaration. Why are you not seeing that coup, mother? I sensed it when I was excluded from that meeting. But I thank God the owner who aborted it. Mom, from what I saw back there, the no-nonsense owner who has finally put the last nail on their coffin, they will never try it again. Onowu Akajiugu has saved this palace from going up in flames and they should all be thankful to him for what he did. Well, well, well. Let us all forget about what has already happened and start strategizing. According to the Onowu, a successor can only be named after the expiration of the king. We should start planning on how you will be the one to be named. Bring it on, Mom. What plans do you have? Oh no. That is what we think. So please tell us, is that really your plan? Your Majesty, I can't believe that you can think such about me. Oh no, everything is possible. But we want you to forgive us and understand if it is in any way a false allegation. Because right now, I am not thinking straight. In fact, I don't know what to think. You mean to tell me that you think that I, Ono Akajugo, am planning to terminate royalty from your family? What for? Why on earth will I do that? Ono, Ono, please. Don't be offended. For that same reason, we sent for you. Yes. Because we, we want to hear from you firsthand and convince ourselves that we are still on the same page. Exactly. Is it not better that way than sitting back in our family, pointing accusing fingers towards you? Please, talk to us. Well, if you must know, I have no such intention. All I want is for things to be done the right way. That's all. Your Majesty, please, you better not play into the hands of your wives and destroy your family. That's an advice. Go through history and discover that when the destruction of great men is planned, women play a cardinal role in it. Do not play into their hands. Your Majesty, I I think I understand perfectly the point Unuwaka Jugo made. You do? Yes. Yes, Your Majesty. He is interested in doing things the right way. Not the way your wives want them to be done. I, I mean. You, you mean you believed him when he said he has no intentions of terminating royalty Your Majesty, from our family? I believe him absolutely. Uno Wakajugo has no interest whatsoever in royalty. He is simply interested in ensuring that we do it the right way. That we don't succumb to the pressure that is being mounted and do it the wrong way. That is what he wants and I believe him, Your Majesty. If you say so. It's all right. This is serious. Very serious indeed. But don't you think Ono is right? How exactly do you mean? Of course. The two women my brother married are the ones poisoning the minds of their children. I mean their sons and their daughters. The Prime Minister has come to clear everything to us. Give us a very clear explanation. And yet, these women are still positioning their sons, you know, to take over from the king. 
I, I, I don't understand. <sighs> to be honest with you, I am tired and speechless. I'm just hoping. Seriously, Teresa, I am hoping that those desperate women, eh? I'm just hoping they will not kill my brother before his time. God forbid. Nothing like that will happen. The way they are going? No, the way they are going? You don't think so? You are that man, if, if, if you are the man they are padding this kind of pressure on, you don't think you will drop dead? Do you manage your, do you manage your dry headache? Don't worry. I understand how you feel. But you need to go to work. You've not been to work for a couple of days now. Choma, you don't understand. Honestly, I do. No, you don't. How do you expect me to concentrate at work when the possibility of permanently losing the children stares me in the face? That is why I'm telling you, you need to compose yourself. Brother, this is war. And people win wars by composing themselves. You cannot win any war when you are disorganized. No. Choma. Are you aware that that idiot, that Nincom Poop, moves around this kingdom with a pistol? Are you serious? Yes! I'm telling you! Because he has once put the gun against me, and I boldly squared up to him. I am very sure that he had that gun when Father slapped him. Have you told Father about this? I know what to do. Oh. Priscilla and Chico, you are the vibrant prince that will emerge king. And you deserve the best. And I have come to give you the best. When did this nonsense start? Oh. Come on, I understand you deserve the best, and that's why I've come here to give you the best. Oh. Am I not good enough for you? I came to ease your stress. Get huh? your filthy hands off me. Something wrong with you? Do you know that it's a privilege for you to exchange breath with me? Now let me tell you something. I like bitches. I take bitches. I pick my bitches. Bitches do not pick me. And when you're done with this nonsense, you get out of my house. Where's the fine chico? Prince. My bitch. Your Majesty. If I need you, you may seem irresponsible and all that but believe me his brain is accurate when it comes to making managerial decisions he's just radical by nature and if you ask me that's one of the qualities a future king should possess he is strong and decisive your Majesty, why are you not saying all this? My love, you really need to reason with me and understand my point. Forget about what the Prime Minister told you and pronounce a fine Ijuku, the heir to your throne. Trust me, he is one person I know that can fight all authorities and demons, and he will ensure that royalty remains here.
Give me time.